Keep your heads up and your arms covered, family. We're about to go over these two conjunctions that are happening on July 1st with Mars and Venus and Mercury in the sun. But first, the verse of the day, and it's Psalms chapter 100, verse 2. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. And I got to keep it real, always. That's the only reason that I go to our Father's house and gather is to worship him and sing. And we're about to be caught up and sing a new song. And Jesus Christ said the signs would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And on July 1st, it's Venus and Mars that will be in conjunction right under the sickle. And it says right here, both objects will be in the constellation Leo. Bright Venus will be visible with the naked eye, even from light polluted locations. Venus is so bright, I've seen it shining through clouds recently. And remember, man named Venus the bright morning star. The same name that Jesus Christ is given in Revelation twenty two sixteen. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And remember, the wise men followed the Bethlehem star to find Jesus. Matthew chapter 2 verse 10. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And there's more conjunctions happening with what they call Venus this year than I've ever seen in my whole entire life. None of us have ever seen Venus this close, looking this bright. So rejoice, because this is Jesus Christ's star. They all are. And Venus shining so bright is a perfect reminder of what Jesus Christ told us all to do. Luke 12, 35, let your loins be girded about and your lights burning and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for the Lord when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. So Venus shining extremely bright could be a reminder from Jesus Christ to keep our lamps burning bright. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, for his signs. And speaking of shining bright, now we'll go to the sun and Mercury, the second conjunction on July 1st. But real quick, Isaiah 30, 26. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold, as the light of seven days, in the day that the Lord bindeth up the breach of his people and healeth the stroke of the wound. So if you're wondering why the sun and the moon are so bright, it's because the day of the Lord is approaching. Now we'll go to the sun. And as you can see, the sun and what they call Mercury are in the constellation they call the Gemini twins. And as you go through the days, you can see Mercury going into the sun. And it's in complete, the closest conjunction on July 1st. And as you can see, the asteroid Esther, named after Queen Esther, is in conjunction with the sun on July 1st, too. And now we'll track Mercury through the days in case we're still here. And when you go past July 1st and you get to July 10th, you can see that Mars is right there with Regulus, the heart of the lion, on July 10th. And when you keep going through the days, you can see Mercury goes through Precy Pay on July 14th. And when you keep going through the days, you can see that Mercury lines up with the heart of the lion on July 28th. And that will be eight months and 11 days since Christina escaped. Mercury, they call the messenger on the heart of the lion on July 28th, right after 726, Harpazo. And as you can see, Mercury and Venus will be right under the sickle. And more and more fireballs are raining down on us and being reported and caught on video. And this article came out June 25th. Watch fireball light up the night sky in vivid blue as it blazes over California. And when you scroll down, there's a video right here, and there it is, blam, 
and it was beautiful. The color, it looked turquoise. And here's something you don't see every day and that I've never seen in my whole entire life. Lightning striking a rainbow. And if you have solar glasses, you can look at the sun right now and there's a gigant, enormous sunspot. Big sunspot. AR3354 has developed a beta gamma magnetic field that harbors energy for strong solar flares. They're forecasting a 40% chance of M-class flares and a 10% chance of X flares on June 28th today. So get ready to see more of this. Solar Max is boosting airglow. There was no geomagnetic storm on June 22nd. Nevertheless, the sky turned green over Euro, Colorado. It reminds me of the throne room. Revelation 4.3, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. And I already shared with you, Jesus Christ has been telling me all year, green means go. And now we'll look at Israel and Jerusalem, and as you can see, June 26, a couple days ago, two rockets fired at Israel from West Bank for first time in 18 years. And remember, this month, the Israel Defense Forces wrapped up a major drill focused on multi-front war with Iran. And remember, Luke 21, 20, And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Luke 21, 28, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And remember, this article just came out this month. How does Israel handle multi-front threats? And the restrainer is about to be lifted. As you can see right here, Israel's army is already compromised. IDF will run entirely on generative AI. So like I said, they've been compromised by the enemy. And their army will run entirely on AI. And this article is saying within a few years, but that's a lie. It's obvious that they're already taking advice from the devil through AI. And at any moment, AI could tell them it's in their best interest for them to attack Iran or even blow up Damascus. And obviously, if AI is showing them that attacking Iran will keep Israel from being destroyed, then they're going to attack Iran and kick off World War III and the rapture. So the most important thing to do right now, family, is to hold on to your faith and follow Jesus Christ and do what he said and preach the gospel and give to the poor and feed and give drink to the lesser of the brethren. In all glory to our Father, Thank you, family, for everyone that donated. I have the backpacks, the Bibles, the food, the supplies. The ice packs are coming in tomorrow. And an awesome sister from YouTube hit me up that lives out here in Las Vegas. And this weekend, or early next week, she's going to go out with me and hand out the packs. All glory to our Father. I feel blessed because Jesus Christ continues to be fruitful through me for all of us. So keep pushing, family, until he comes to get us and we enter into our rest.